Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Yes. I wanted to talk to you as well. That Walter Morgan guy, uh, what did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it. Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? Eh, they're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. He's working somewhere in the forest today. Hope you're enjoying the job as much as your dad did. Good morning, P.O. P.O. Positive report. That's P. Will it be a P or a double P? Walter Morgan has the answer. Every now and then, I spend some time in Providence Oaks. And I'm always happy to see this beautiful and orderly village, and it's well better than happens. Did someone just call me well-mannered? <laughs> oh, I'll take it. Let's see if the weather will behave today. A bit of sun to start the day, but mostly overcast heading into the evening. Back to the music. it on the doorstep. I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. Oh, really? Got anything romantic? <laughs> sure do. Or, wait, you do mean movies, right? So, what's on your mind, babe? I think I'm starting to like you. A lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? <laughs> Touché. So anyway, what's on your mind? You look a little distracted. Yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that this whole Flick Shack adventure, I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. And in the wrong place? I think so, yeah. I think I'm just too different for this town. Plus, business hasn't really been booming. Ah, uh, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Wow. 
I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up, but I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. <sighs> You're welcome. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? About your future, I mean? Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. I hear ya. I'll swing by later. Did these folks order? Nope, no answer. Answer.
Hey, Meredith, I'm up here. Hey, Robert. Wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. Maybe you should come down. Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figured it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, here? Really? Ugh, what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Get out of here. Are we going to do a tree version of We Are the World? Yes, I can do Bruce. We are the world. We are the children. That sounds great. I'll be... Diana Ross. There's a choice we're making. We're saving our own lives. Oh, yes. But no. Sorry. It'll be a radio message to get the people of Providence Oaks involved. Probably better that way. Yeah, leave the singing to the pros. It'll be this afternoon, by the way, at Jack Reynolds' barn. Are you in? I could use an extra set of ears. A professional sound studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I'm gonna get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Be careful up there. Thanks. We are the ones to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. lighter than I thought.
leave it on the doorstep. All right, on to the next one. for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Um, what is it? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. Yay! I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... A new rocket? No, but that would totally make Grace's day, though. I should be able to craft something like that out of the cardboard packaging. Good idea. Okay. The suspense is killing me. Open it! Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer! Super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, the synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I could get carried away about this kind of stuff. I know you're doing that speeding up thing again. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. <laughs> Stop, you're doing it again. Oh, man, you're right. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what do you have? It's on the house. Pie. I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. We're clean out. Anything else? 
I owe you? I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Um, okay. You might be right. Jack, one more recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three. Action! Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Better? Actually, no. Could you also try Attention Providence Oaks and Lake Lovers Listen Up? So, just the first words. Yeah, Robert, if you could hurry up a bit. <laughs> Potatoes don't come out of the ground voluntarily. One, two, three, action! <clears throat> Attention, Providence Oaks. Lake lovers, listen up. Like that? A star is born. Now, let's do some real work. All right, this should work. All right, it's time to really roll up our sleeves. You ready, Robert? Sure thing, Jack. Meredith, I'm gonna return the favor and help Jack out today. If you love birds wanting to spend more time together, she can come along too. Plenty of work to do. Jack, what the? Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Rock on. Let's do this. Okay, folks. Hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. Steve, I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't. I'll look at them tonight. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, short call. Gotta rush. Corporate lawyer appointment. Crossing the T's and dotting the I's. You speak soon. Here we go again. 